Hey guys, Artificial from the Future here, so just letting you know in this video my voice tends to cut out sometimes. I am messing with the uh, microphone confi configs and at the end of the video I say I am getting a new microphone. So uh, that's on my me guys, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be coding a special plugin I got for you. This is going to be the culminating event of pretty much everything we've been working on past with the past few co coding videos. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So this plugin um, does something very specific. It's kind of like a diamond cap. So what you can see here is if I do this, do this command, you can see I have mine this many diamonds. So if I keep doing this, right, just keep on mining this, obviously the counter goes up and it tells me how many I have. And then I get to the end, we'll see, 15, do this, 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 and there you go. Once I hit 20 diamonds mined, I cannot mine any diamonds anymore. It says it in the chat, so when I try to, it won't work. If I try to set another one, it will just not work. And this also works, so I can check diamonds so like there, and it tells me my diamonds. But I can also look up other players' diamonds, so I can look up Mr. Official's diamonds, which is my name. It tells me I have mine 20, but if I look up some other person's name, Tells me that player is not mine to any diamonds on the server. So without further ado, let's get right back into the code. So in the code, we have three simple things here: a commands package with the normal command in it, with all the arguments and stuff that are true. We have a listeners one that has the block break event that, um, and then we have the main, which is has two things: uh, get command for the check diamonds. You can copy that on a code and get command for the server. So first thing we want to do in the listeners is make two things up here. We want to make a player player variable. And then it go ahead and import player. So and want to create a hash map. So public static hash map. We're gonna put a string and an integer into this. Now I'll explain what this does in a second. Map we'll, we'll call it map equals a new Hash map, and just copy this rule. Right. So equals a new hash map like that. Put these at the end of it, and go ahead and do that. And then we have to go ahead and import hash map. Hash map like that, like that. There we go. And we go ahead and import that. Anyway, so what a hash map does is it uses this key to store values. The value we're storing is it. So if I do, I can put something into this key, so I can put like, let's say, what I'm going to put in is this is number one, and then I put in the number one for it. So if I were to do, as far as get the key, I can get it, and then use the key, this, this, this is number one, and that's my key, it's a string, and it will output the number one, because we put the number one in, the key, this is number one. That's a pretty, pretty basic explanation for it, I would say. Anyway, let's get into the coding part. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, make our player variable equal to e dot get player, like so. And then we're going to check if the block is a diamond because that's, uh, that's where all of our code is run out. If e dot get block equals e dot get block equals equals. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Sorry. Material dot diamond four like so, and then we pop this down, and we have to get the type. Forgot about that. Get type, and that will work. Anyway, pop that down, and what we can do is the next thing we want to do is if diamonds map contains this key. So if the map dot contains key, and we're gonna be storing the player's names. So we're gonna player dot dot get name so if the player's name is already in the hash map we want to continue with the code so but if it's not in the hash map we have to put it in the hash map so if it's in the hash map continue with the code however we want to else this statement real quick and if it's not all i want to do is diamonds map dot put or what's called map map dot Put and what to put in our key is going to be the player's name, obviously. 
player dot get name like that and the value is going to be one because they've already mined a block so we have to put in one because this fires every time they mine a block so if their name is not already in the system we're going to put their name in the system with the number one next to it anyway since we already know their name is in the system we're going to check if map dot get and we're going to get player dot get name so getting the name of the player is going to see how many diamonds that player has mined. So this is going to return a number. And we're going to check if they have mined 20 diamonds. That's what this function does. Um, oh, we have to do it like this. Uh, like that. And then... Like this. Equals equals... If it equals 20 diamonds they've mined, then we want to continue with the code right here. Else, if they don't have 20 diamonds mined, we're just going to keep adding to their diamond count. So we're going to diamonds map. This, hold on here because it gets a little crazy. So map dot put player dot get name. I'll explain all of this in a second. Player dot get name with the value of whatever they have plus one. So we're going to get how many diamonds they have. So map dot get their player not get name. So we're gonna get how many diamonds the player has. And then we're going to add one to it. So plus one. So we're gonna put into the map whatever diamonds they, they whatever amount of diamonds they have, but add one more to that count. So that just pretty much puts the count up by one. So yeah, now all we have to do is do this part. So if they have mined the if they've mined twenty diamonds then all we have to do is first e dot set cancel. So that takes our block break event and makes sure it can't happen. So it makes sure that they can't break any more diamonds. So we're gonna set this to true. Like that. And so that e is the event name, so just make sure that block break event can't happen when we set it cancels when we set it to cancel because of that diamond door one. Okay? This will also not interfere with any of other blocks, so while it's cancelled, they can still break other blocks, just not diamond ore. That's the specified type we have right there. Anyway, next we want to player dot play sound. And we're gonna play the sound at player dot get location. I'll just do this real quick. Location sound dot even. We're gonna do two and cast this to float, like we learned last time for the play sound method. Float and 1.5. And then we're going to player dot send message. And we're going to do chat color dot translate like we did last time. The character we're gonna use is the and symbol. Message is going to be and C. You cannot break any more diamonds. Sad face. Sad face. So, what this does is it plays the sound here at their location. It plays the sound at land. That's the sound I like. At a volume of 2 with a pitch of 1.5, so just a little bit higher pitch than usual. And then it sends them this good old message. So, we're, believe it or not, we are done with the whole entire listeners. So we can actually move on to the next part, which is the commands class. Now this command is simply just going to check the player's diamonds. So the first thing we are going to do is if the sender is an instance of a player, like that, check that, import it, and then we have to check if the args.length is greater than zero. So this means pretty much, so if I type the command slash check diamonds, there are no arguments, so there are arguments of zero. But if I do check diamonds, is there artificial or something, or I put anything after that, it means that there are multiple arguments. Like another line, every space is an argument, so another line is an argument. And pretty much that means that we can detect if they're trying to detect a player. So if they're trying to just do it for themselves, then we'll do 
write the code for. Get the senders diamonds up here. We get the player specified specified diamonds. I don't know how that's how you spell it, but whatever. Anyway, what we can do here in the top part, we're going to do player player equals bucket dot get player, and then the name is going to be. Oh, well, we're not going to pass it. We're going to pass it args zero. Yep, args zero. So the next argument after that is going to be it. So that means if I do slash check diamonds blah, this is arg zero. So we're going to make a player out of that name of the player. Okay, we have to do some checks first. So if this player, if player equals null, have to do like this. If player equals null, then what we have to do is we have to tell them. So this means that the players doesn't exist or they're not like on the server. Sender dot send message. Sender dot send message. Chat color dot red plus that player has not mined any diamonds on this. Server. So if their player doesn't exist, then we obviously know it's not a real player, kick them out. So then we can do this right here. We're gonna do another else if statement here. Else, else, if, and then we're going to actually get the hash map. So we're gonna make sure that this is the opposite. So if uh, the exclamation point does the opposite, so it checks. So let's say if the player, if I did something like this, it would be like if the player doesn't equal null instead of if the player does equal null. So if listeners dot, so you want to do the name of your class that you have the hash map in, dot map dot get or dot contains key contains key then send or, or player dot get name dot get name. I'll go with this in a second. Then we want to send them the same message. So else, what we want to do, pretty much this checks. Um, so if there is a player already in the map, then we know that they've mined diamonds on the server. But if there's no name for that player in the map, it means they haven't mined any diamonds. So we can just send that. And finally, we're going to do our last else statement and just get this out of the way. Send er, dot send message. Send message chat color dot red or we'll do gold for now gold plus well air uh ooh, sorry <coughs> get name plus has not mind oh or has mind has mind plus listeners dot map dot get player dot get name and I'll go over this code in a second get name and then plus or plus diamonds anyway so what this does is it's going to send the message it's going to send their player name, and actually I'll do this. Oh, there's lightning. So pretty much what happens here is um, we get the name of the player and highlight that in gold, and we say their name has mined, and then we get how many diamonds they've mined from the map. So that's the basic method for that. So now we are actually done. What is this else statement then? Yeah, so if the, for the else statement, we just gotta do this. So if they're just trying to check their own diamonds, we wanna do sender.send message. Uh, we'll do chat color green, or I'll, I did aqua for diamond color. Aqua two plus you 
have mind, space, and then the same thing up here. Listeners, centers, dot, get, or dot, map, dot, get, sender, dot, get, name, like that, and then plus diamonds, like so. So yeah, believe it or not, guys, we are actually done with the plugin. Uh, there's an error here. Oh, we can delete this. We really do not need that. There's no errors, actually. So we can go ahead and control S just to save it. Okay, so just don't worry about that, guys. Just go ahead and export your plugin like normal. Um, it doesn't really matter about that. It's the code's being funny and wacky, and it thinks a bunch of random stuff. But you know, we are right here. We are in the right. So let's go ahead and check if it works. Okay, so back on the server, guys. We can see um, that if we were to go ahead, mine some diamonds here. Let's pull this down. If we were to go ahead and mine some diamonds, we we'll get myself efficiency five. Enchant efficiency five on this. And if we were to start mining them, we can see if we can check diamonds. Myself, I'm going to find diamonds. If I do Mr. Official, it's the same thing. Also, if I do some random person like uh, Mr. Artie. Not Mr. Artie, like A G A G A G A G. Because that play the person's not mining any diamonds. If I keep mining here, we should see that. Oh, gotta wait for him. There we go, you cannot break any more diamonds. It does not work, it does not let us break any diamonds. It still lets it break, like, block, blocks. Sorry about that, a little tongue twister. But it does not let us break any more diamonds. So, there you have it guys, there's the plugin tutorial. If you liked this video, leave it a like. If you want to sub, go ahead sub. Um, I'm working on mic quality, I just ordered the mic. Just keep you all posted. All of the code for this video will be in the description below. And I have one more video do on this specific plugin and then we can move on to some greater more better methods for your server anyway see you guys later